Hey everyone, how's it going? Oh, it's an ungodly hour of the morning. It is, what do we got here? 6.02. I'm sitting in McDonald's car park on a Sunday. This is not a good hour of the morning for me to be up, but this is Steam Fest 2024. <sighs> um, yeah. Steam Fest is an agriculture, well, I suppose you'd call it an agricultural show. Um, it's held at Sheffield in the north of Tasmania, which is about three and a half hours drive from me, hence why I'm up so early. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get some brekkie and hit the road. Um, yeah, more. Do a bit of filming, hopefully, as long as no one cares too much. See some, there's some nice tractors and stuff up there. There's some tractor pulling. Well, I think there's tractor pulling. Um, plenty of steam engines and stuff like that, hence Steam Fest. There's steam train rides, stuff like that. Whole heap of craft stuff and, you know, a few sideshow type things. So. Um, yeah. So, I'll show you around a bit of it. Well, hopefully. <laughs> if you see this video, well, I, it obviously all worked out. If you don't, well, you'll never know. Doesn't matter either way. Um, yeah. Oh, it's an ungodly hour of the morning. No one should be up this early. Speaking of, I've already been up for an hour, so... Yeah. Ooh, what does that do? What? Some random fellow walking down. Okay. We'll let, leave him be. He hasn't noticed us. I don't like wandering around with the camera in public. I feel a bit odd. <laughs> if I'm up in the paddock at home by myself, I'm fine. But yeah, me wandering around with the camera in public is um, yeah, a new thing to me. So we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, so hopefully you like it all. And yeah, I, there hasn't been many. I've only went to one other show this year. And that was only a very little one, so I didn't really... I should have filmed something there, but I didn't. That's my bad. Um, yeah. So hopefully you enjoy Steam Fest. It was pretty good last year, so hopefully it's alright this year. And yeah. I'll bring you back when I'm... Yeah. See something of interest. <laughs> alright. I'll bring you back in a sec.
Hey everyone, how's it going? We've made it. <sighs> Three hours later, but we are here in Sheffield. So I'll go get in the gate, see what's going on. I'll do a bit of a look around, see what's worth filming and whatnot, and yeah, we'll see if we can get something on film for you guys. All right, I'll bring you back soon. This is an interesting thing. I think I should put the numbers up for That must be when they inspect the rivets or something. I'm not, yeah, not an expert. Far from it on these things. Looks like one they're restoring here. So, so this event's held at Steam World, so there's a lot of this sort of stuff here, where they do all the restorations and all that sort of sort of thing. Good on you, good on you. But you've got three coming in today, three blacksmiths coming in today, is it? got three blacksmiths here at the minute. There's BJ, Cameron, and myself. There is. Um, but tomorrow there will also be three as well. Very cool. Right, right, so what are you going to be working on? And what's Cameron going to be working on? What's this gentleman going to be working on? Well, I'm just working on five workers. Yeah. I'm looking at what BJ's going to be working on. <laughs> and who knows? Um, Cameron's going to be working on a few nails, but I'm not too sure what he'll be working on afterwards. Did you say nails? Nails, yes. So they did all that back then. Wow. Yeah. They look like big tacks. Looks like this thing actually was running not that long ago. But they're doing a bit of a refurb on it. It doesn't look like it's been sitting out in a paddock for years. There's another one just across the way. We'll have a look at that one too. So by looks at this is just a regular traction engine, not a roller. Same thing, numbered rivets. So I'm assuming that's a. Actually, no, they're not rivets. I think there's something to do with the firebox. Anyway, I don't know. Any bearings made and fitted. I'd love to have something like this, but that's the problem. Everything. You can't buy nothing for it, everything has to be made. So it's just astronomical money. Marshall Sons and Co. Marshall and Co. Yep, they all come out of England. Here. I don't think there's really much of this sort of stuff we manufactured. We just brought it all in from England. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Fire yeah, tube boiler, I'm guessing. I think. Yeah. A, a temporary axle to keep a mobile. <laughs> you can still see the old steam gauge up there. It's a big unit compared to the other one. It's interesting. It's like a fair lead. I suppose it is for something. I wonder what that was useful. You can see it's done a lot of work on the bottom. Of course, train rides. You've got a big fair bit of going on. Three hours for the mini ride. A couple more random things. Garden edging. Garden edging. Okay, I've got no idea what this thing is. It's some. Oh, it's some type of roller. Uh, I don't think it's 
Petrol power roller, I think. <laughs> and a couple of something or others. Hmm. Alright, on to the next bit. Is anyone interested in traction but in stationary engines? We're going to thank some great sponsors here for Steam Fest. That is Kane's Com Cranes Combined, largest fleet in Tasmania. They're locally owned and operated and they're highly specialised. Also, the, uh, the major is one as the hub in High Street in Sheffield. From the very small beginning of the hub to the local op shop is now an integral part of the Kentish community. On the sale of items, they are privileged to sponsor local is. sports clubs, our schools, nursing yeah, homes, like service providers, young people competing in competitions and many other organisations. Yeah, they're they're proud like sponsors of Steam Fest this year. They are located at 35 High Street, next to the fire station. So get on there and go and have a look. And don't forget, coming up about 10.30 in Steve Arena, the farm all tractors, they celebrate 100 years of the great last year. And they are on display. Also, the Harry Ferguson Tractor Club is focusing on the preservation of all Ferguson tractors and the implements which comprise the Ferguson system. Hmm. Alright, back again. Had some technical difficulties there. I don't know, the GoPro it got a bit warm or something. So, as I was saying, the Sunshine Harvester of some description. Quite a nice looking piece. You know, the ISO has some decals or, you know, painted on the weapon up there, something for our machinery, obviously whoever sold it. Now we've got another, oh, you know, sunshine, sun type of harvester, I don't know, someone might know something more than me about it. Cool looking thing. Right, we'll move on to another cool looking stuff. And of course, don't forget we've got the costume competition at one o'clock in Steam Arena. Uh, what Pierre is and this Cookie thing? Be, uh, what what is this thing? Some great prizes there. Looks Next like a in the afternoon toy, yeah. Looks like the a train <laughs> like, but that train sitting on is not very train like. Out. Who wins this afternoon? It's the DCT Twilight. The slower you go, you'll win. Don't ask me how you've got to be there to experience it. I'll say it was some type of train, maybe. At some point. Looks like the trucks, I suppose they call them trucks or whatever, were taken out of it. Probably used as just a straight boiler for something. It's been pulled out of the middle of somewhere or other, which has been sitting for a long time. I think that floating's original. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm assuming they're just like saddle tanks or something. Very cool looking old thing. Probably very much beyond repair, but you know. There's a few other cool bits just in here, so I won't cast, I'll just keep wandering. Power unit of some description. I don't even know what it is. A couple of numbers there. You know, what power is it? Is it 
It's internal combustion of some description. Hmm. I don't know. So if there's anything worth filming on that side. Now it looks like it had a tag on it, but that's long gone. She's a big unit of thing. Hmm. So we've got a lot of stuff. Just bits and pieces in here. An old train truck. Same description. It's international actually. Sit around here and have a look. Yeah, she's an Inter. Ah, uh, series of some description. There's some fun stuff going on behind us, so we got to So, it's you. Probably rust on the side, so it's probably... I want to pronounce it. Keep on to start here, it's just rustling to start here, I think. I think they changed the name at some point. And they did the scheme of things. Rust 
second to try ten. Alright, isn't it so good? Gadget, uh, what they call it, heel boom, I think is what they call it. Not a common thing here. You run it down to another machine or a big stump. They have a cable coming out like a time. Looks like someone's came to the top of the cab there, so someone's obviously um you know, looking after a bit. Happening behind Steve Arena here at Steam Fest for the tractor pulling competition that uh, commences right now at 10.30. Also, Ooh, maybe we should go watch some tractor, tractor, tractor pulling. Far more tractors in the Steam Arena itself with Penny Lane. We'll be talking to the owners. Yeah. And then 11 o'clock will be a spotlight on newly restored engines. This one thing I want to look at. Uh, this is another more machine. I don't know who owns it. It lives up here. It's a Model N, in my understanding. Malcolm Moore, Engineering, Melbourne. I haven't seen it, this is the only one I know of. Drear steer. See down there. There's a whole lot of funkiness going on to make this thing work. So the actual steering box isn't connected to anything. So I'm not really sure how... Thank you. How it actually steers. Rear steers somehow. So it's got a PTO driven winch in the back of it. Yeah, I've always, you know, liked this thing. I think Fordson. I don't mind Model N's. E27 N's don't float my boat, but Model N's I can deal with. Model F, yeah, yeah, take it or leave it. I don't think I like the buzz coils on the Model F. But yeah, she's a, she's a little gem, this one. Right, we'll get down here a bit further and I'll bring you back. Another something or other. Jen said. Steam mover. Just in terms of okay. interesting looking thing. Injection or anything. Very interesting. Now, well, that is that a hard time at some point? Very cool. All right, it's like you too, quite nice. Hey guys, man, I'm in. Hey, what's up, man? Hello. 
couple of steamers here. Oh, 
more little numbers here, like very little. Portable power units, I suppose you'd call them. Yeah, this one, it's only next year, like every year I've been. It's never had anything done to it. Such a beautiful old thing, this thing. Sure, the painting and spokes and so on. So it's probably really nice at one point and it's been let go, I suppose. Or it might have been a static display somewhere. There you Specialty, specially manufactured for AG Webster and Son, awesome. LTD sure Hobart, number eight seven at nine six four. One of those things I don't think the, the boilers probably need the most amount of work in here. Roof on it. Yeah, I don't know who owns it or what the go is. I'm assuming the Steam Society up here own it. Just one of those things. I suppose not everyone has a hundred grand they'll just spend on refurbing one of these. I don't know if it turns anymore or... I, yeah, I don't know anything about it. I would like to know what it is. She is. Lovely old thing. Yeah. So it's a Marshall. Marshall's on. It's been a That one doesn't look like it's used as much as the last one. That's the drum down there. Look at how that works. Can you disconnect drive from the wheel and use it like a winch? Or something? Oh. Yeah, cool old thing. Yeah, here's something to look for. Uh, Ali. Awesome power major. This was here last year. It's not really a display piece. I think this thing actually gets used to pull the traction engines around. It's actually a uh, part of the society, STEAM society, I suppose you call them. Yeah, still not bad, I would think. Good morning, take one by that, good morning. 
But I think it's got another motor in it. I don't think it's still charging it. Yeah. Yeah, mate. That's what I remember.
few more tractors here now.
Oh, no, wait. So I, I can read the what says on the side of the boat. <laughs> as good as anyone else can. These aren't that common here. Most of the farmers we've got, are probably 80% of them, are all British farmers. It's one of these for sale, I never thought about buying it, he doesn't want a lot of money for it. But, yeah, I don't know. I think I'd be disappointed. Like, I think it'd be fine, but I think I'd try and use it for stuff and it's uh, just not, it's not records them. Well, the problem is I'm used to a 50 horsepower tractor that weighs like three tonnes. And then go and some little thing like this. I don't know how much power they make, but it'd be good for tight little, you know, working on in confined areas and stuff. It'd be brilliant for that. But yeah, for what I'd sort of do with them, yeah, it probably isn't um, isn't the best sort of unit. I'll go look at something else. Find something else cool for you to look at. Field nurses or nice field dogs. Very difficult to pick them out. 
but over the years we've learned a few of the Sometimes they wear different hats, different coloured hats. Can't <laughs> 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 And a 70, 30, diesel. You do see a couple of early John Deere's in Cassie, but they're not like so you don't mistake, they're just littered with them. This is pretty good, cool. I don't like this I'm going to go with some food, so I think you guys
Grab these couple on the way past. Sunken mass, a couple of inches, Kenworth. Now this thing, this thing's absolutely lovely. I love this thing. It's here every year. Nice AR 110 as well. Silver share, and we're down here from someone from Happy Hat. Mate, he says, mate, she's actually made these hats. You come <laughs> in the silver share, turn left, come straight down towards Hopefully here. Hopefully that's all coming. Hello to who? Very nice. Jackie from Happy Hat. I don't know who owns it, but. Yesterday. I'm a very good job, yeah. I've said it before, they're yeah, just right, but yeah, that little diesel loco was made by Malcolm Moore, the same company that makes, um, yeah, my um, train. Yeah, they made a lot of stuff in Australia. So that's it, yeah, another one. Oh, well, I'm back in the car. Oh, enjoying some air conditioning, it's quite humid here. It's supposed to be 30 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. <laughs> um, I assume it got to that. I 
sweating like a pig. It's no, it's not good. Yeah, so that was Steamfest, yeah, 2024. It's a pretty good turnout. I didn't film absolutely everything. They're so like, yeah, there just would have been hours and hours of footage. I filmed absolutely everything, but there's all craft stalls in there as well, and oh, I don't know. I'm not interested in any of that. Um, <clears throat> a lot of other stuff. Like there was an arena, two arenas with things going on, like events and stuff. They had some animal things as well going on, and competitions and stuff like that. So yeah, there's heaps of stuff to see, but not a lot of it would make good YouTube content. Um, hopefully the footage turns out okay, because using a GoPro to do long distance sort of more filming is not really the best. So. Yeah, we'll see. You know, it'll make something, something for you to watch, even if it isn't that great. Um, I would like to film a lot more of the tractor pulling, but it's just taking so long because there was a lot of um, competitors. I want to try and get a bit of a broad spectrum of each each competitor, just one run of each. But yeah, it is what it is. I don't want to be up here all day because it's a three-hour drive home. So. Oh, well, I'll wrap this one up here. Yeah. So, yeah, if you like that, let me know. Like, share, subscribe, all the usual things. and I'll catch you guys in the next one.